Introduction to the Tai Huang Swallowing Heaven Technique All heaven and earth are spiritual, and all things are persevering. The beginning of the unnamed heaven and earth is the mother of all things. This is the swallowing heaven divine cauldron, which can condense the essence of crops and cultivate the heart of the eight wastelands. Obtaining this cauldron, swallowing the four seas, accommodating the eight wastelands. A generation of evil gods, stepping on the path of heaven. Chapter 1 Ching Lu You are listening at NovelFull.audio I didn't die. Lu Wuxie was awakened by pain, with several pieces of broken wood pressing on his body, making him unable to breathe. Then, a jumbled memory crawled into his mind. He was originally one of the top ten immortal emperors in the Lingyun immortal realm. By chance, he found the Taihuang artifact. Swallowing the heavenly divine cauldron. He was besieged by the entire immortal realm and died on the soul-cutting cliff. At the last moment, he cast the blood demon disintegration technique and perished with them, shattering the swallowing heavenly divine cauldron. When he woke up, he had already arrived here. Junwu Continent Su Family Visiting Sun.in.law Black Sheep The memory that appeared in his mind told him that he was no longer in the Lingyin immortal realm, but was reborn into a plane called the Junwu Continent. And this young man's body, also known as Lu Wuxia, was born into a wealthy family. At the age of five, his family's fortunes changed, and his parents mysteriously disappeared, causing him to have a narrow and solitary personality since childhood. After being adopted by Su Yilin, a friend of his father and future father. In. Law, there was no improvement. As he grew older, his personality became more and more rebellious and domineering. He even believed that his father. In. Law, who treated him as his own, conspired to gain his family's property before adopting him. He became a notorious spendthrift in Kanglin City and became a notorious spendthrift. The entire Sioux family, without using waste, insects, or garbage to describe him, still goes their own way. In the blink of an eye, at the age of marriage, Su Yilin, his father. In. Law, believed that after getting married, his personality may converge. And today is his wedding day. In theory, garbage like him cannot be worthy of the Miss Su family. That's because Lu Wuxia's parents and Su Yilin are close friends in life and death. The two families have already engaged in marriage, and they have agreed to get married when they reach the age of 18. On the day of the wedding, after entering the bridal chamber, he was kicked out by the young lady of the Su family. At the instigation of several fox friends, he stepped into the brothel for the first time and suddenly became furious, igniting candles and causing the entire brothel to collapse. Tragically, he was buried under the ruins. Move away the broken wood pressing on your body, lie flat on the ground, and start checking your body. What a ruthless tactic. With one palm at the center of one's life, if it weren't for my possession, I would definitely die. Who wants to kill him and set up such a game? Apart from some injuries, the most fatal one came from a strange palm print on his chest. He vividly remembered drinking with a few friends, and his memory of losing control was completely forgotten. The broken heart pulse is only temporarily suppressed, and it is necessary to search for a protective pill to reconnect. With his methods, it is not difficult to refine this pill. Fortunately, this is a land of cultivators, with extremely prosperous martial arts. Warriors have many levels, including acquired, innate, spiritual cleansing, marrow cleansing, true alchemy, this terrible body, to describe it as waste, has lifted him up. The veins are as thin as hair, and the congestion caused by impurities can only be described as unbearable. I'm a bit troublesome. All of my cultivation methods are at the level of immortal realm gods. The true martial arts world is only on the level of the mortal realm, and I must change the cultivation methods of the practitioners in the mortal realm. For example, it's like a baby, although there are divine weapons and weapons placed next to them, with the baby's strength, they can't even pick up these divine weapons. To pick up divine weapons, one must grow to a certain level, at least reaching the state of washing marrow. Awkward. 
Lu Wuxia felt extremely embarrassed and tried several times, but each time he failed. The tearing sensation from his muscles made him feel unbearable. As he continued to cultivate, his physical body would inevitably be torn apart. At this moment, a drop of pure liquid flowed out of his dantian, rushing towards his tendons and flowing into his limbs and bones. The weak meridians are like greedy worms, crazily devouring liquids. The mud inside gradually dissolves, and the whole body feels comfortable. What is the situation? Divine consciousness sinks into the elixir field, to see what exactly happened to this drop of liquid. Where did it come from? At the moment of entering the Dantian, my head almost exploded, and a pitch-black divine cauldron sat in the center of the Dantian, with liquid flowing out of it. This is. This is the heavenly swallowing divine cauldron, it came with me unexpectedly. At the last moment, the swallowing heavenly divine cauldron exploded with him, but unexpectedly appeared in his elixir field. Can you say? That I can be reborn is closely related to the swallowing heavenly divine cauldron. Suddenly. A massive black gas rushed out of the cauldron and hit Lu Wuxia's consciousness. The black gas constantly churns and changes, finally turning into pitch black words, ancient and vicissitudes, full of traces of time, the strong impact shook his consciousness away from his body and returned to reality. There was no time to organize the text in the brain, and a loud noise came from outside. The gravel above his head was gradually moved away, revealing some light. Many people held torches and gathered around. Master, I have found my uncle. Several strong men moved away the broken wood, and it was his life not to die. A beam happened to block the falling boulder, and his body did not suffer too much trauma. The real cause of death came from that fatal blow. He was hurriedly lifted out and placed on the ground, nourished by a mysterious liquid. His body was basically unharmed and he sat upright. Do you want to anger me to death, you scoundrel? At this moment, Su Yilin appeared in front of him, with a look of hatred towards iron and steel, angrily blowing his beard and glaring. He learned that his son Dot in Dot Law was causing a commotion in the brothel and was being pinned down below. He didn't even have time to wear his coat and just wore a cloak before rushing out. Strangely, in the face of Su Yilin's scolding, a warm current flowed through Lu Wuxia's heart. He could feel that Su Yilin was really worried about him. How could this waste not have died? A sudden scream interrupted their conversation, and hundreds of people gathered around, pointing and pointing. This moth is really lucky. It didn't even kill him like this. It's really embarrassing. What kind of sin did the Sioux family create? It's embarrassing to invite such a son that in that law to come and humiliate the Sioux family. Waste is waste. Today is his wedding day, and he came to visit the brothel at night. His animalistic nature grew strong, and he tore open the women's clothes in the brothel, almost causing a big disaster. The sky is unfair. Why didn't such waste take his life? Dot. A large number of sarcastic voices from all directions, like a tide, fell on Lu Wuxia alone. Um. Lu Wuxia had a black line, but was unable to refute it. Su Yilin's old face turned red, and he asked someone to quickly lift him up. Let's go back first and don't embarrass himself here. Stop. A cold shout echoed behind him, interrupting their footsteps. A madam, accompanied by ten guards, walked over quickly with a fierce and ferocious spirit, and a group of people were in a fierce manner. Master Su, the collapse of our home courtyard caused by our son. In Law's injury has left dozens of people injured. The girl is too scared to go out, and many guests are still in the clinic for treatment. It's all because of him. Are you planning to slap your butt and leave? The madam is in her forties, with a thick layer of rouge powder on her face, a pungent aroma, and a bit choking. Her hanging ghost face looks disgusting, standing in front of Lu Wuxia, shouting and screaming. I will arrange for someone to come and discuss the compensation matter. Su Yilin gave Lu Wuxia a fierce glare. It wasn't time to scold him, 
we'll talk about it when we get home. No need, I will compensate for the lost expenses myself. Lu Wuxia stood up, the matter arose because of him, and he didn't want to implicate too many people. Young Master Lu, it's not that I belittle you. What compensation are you taking? The madam didn't give him face at all, mocking him in front of Su Yilin, and laughter came from all directions. Don't worry, the compensation won't lose you a penny. I, Su Yilin, guarantee that the compensation will be delivered to you within three days. Su Yilin made a solemn statement and made a promise before allowing them to leave. Lu Wuxia sighed for a moment and said, Did my predecessor have a mental problem? At first glance, my father Dot in Dot Law really cared about him. Following Su Yilin, Lu Wuxia remained silent while reading at www.yukyangshu.net. He is still very grateful to the Su family. When he was in trouble, it was the Su family who helped him, and Su Yilin kept his promise to betroth his precious daughter to him. This can prove that he is a person of great affection and righteousness. As the sky gradually brightened, the Su family gate opened and two servants were about to clean the fallen leaves outside. When they saw Su Yilin, they all bowed, but as for Lu Wuxia, they ignored him. You go back and change into a new outfit, come see me in the main hall later. He was covered in dust, his clothes were broken, and he looked like a beggar. Su Yilin asked him to go back and tidy up first. Yes. Lu Wuxia harbors fear and even a hint of respect towards his father. In. Law. He has died countless times in recent years without the Su family. The new book has set sail and made everyone wait for a long time. It has been polished for two months and will not disappoint everyone. Let's read dozens of chapters first. If it's not good, come and hit me. Chapter 2 Tai Huang Swallows the Sky Technique You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Passing through the courtyard, there are intricately arranged buildings, one floor inside and one floor outside. The Su family ranks high in Kanglin City and is one of the four major families. Although their background is not as strong as the other three, they are also not weak. Su Yilin has already reached the peak of the spirit washing realm and is one of the top ten experts in Kanglin City. The room was in a mess, with a foul smell and dirty clothes piled up in the corners. There were also a few pairs of smelly socks left aside. Interestingly, I have already married Miss Su and still live in a dilapidated courtyard. Lu Wuxia touched his nose and said that yesterday's wedding banquet was not a grand event, but rather a hasty one for several elders of the family. As for the bridal chamber. The fart's bridal chamber was beaten out before he even entered, and he didn't even see his wife's face. In a fit of anger, he went to the brothel with a few fox friends to relax. Open the wardrobe, find a set of blue robes, put them on your body, and leave the room. Passing through the main hall and entering the inner hall, the residence of the head of the Su family is inaccessible to ordinary people. In the main hall, three people sat at a table, including their father. In. Law Su Yilin, mother. In. Law Yang Zi, and his wife Su Lingxue. Su Lingxue is very beautiful, breathtaking, exuding a quiet and noble aura from her body. She has long eyelashes, a towering nose bridge, delicate red lips, and a curvy figure. The undulating curves outline her perfect figure, exuding a seductive aura. As an immortal emperor, Lu Wuxia lived for thousands of years and has seen countless beautiful women. The most memorable for him was undoubtedly the Water Yao Immortal Emperor, the number one beauty in the immortal world. Compared to her, Su Lingxue was not too conceited. Is this woman my wife? This appearance, this temperament and appearance, isn't it necessary to turn the world upside down? It's not an exaggeration to say she's a beauty disaster. Such a woman should marry such a useless person. Su Lingxue glanced at him, her eyebrows furrowed slightly, but she immediately regained her expressionless expression. Last night's incident had a great impact on the Su family, and her cold eyes never looked at him again. This is more sorrow than death in her heart. She was extremely disappointed with him. 
Lu Wuxie sighed in her heart, and her gaze moved away from Su Lingxue, walking into the main hall. Lu Wuxie did not sit down, but stood on the side. His mother dot in dot Law Yang Zi's expression was very ugly, wishing he could be kicked out. His father dot in dot Law Su Yilin took a deep breath and forcefully suppressed his anger. Can't you give us an explanation for what happened last night? Su Yilin spoke up first, with a hint of questioning. Lu Wuxie had watched him grow up and had already treated him as his own son. He had no children under his knee and was the only child of a lifelong friend. Although he had been a playboy in recent years, he had endured it. But last night's scene filled him with righteous indignation. With these words spoken, his chest was heaving violently, suppressing the anger in his heart. There's nothing to explain, it has already happened, and the explanation is unnecessary. Lu Wuxia's plain answer angered Su Yilin greatly. He raised his hand and quickly let it go. If he admitted his mistake, he would feel better in his heart. What the meaning of these words was, even the explanation seemed unnecessary. He didn't know that Lu Wuxia from last night had already died, and was taken away with a palm. Su Yilin's appearance made Lu Wuxia feel the care of his family. In his past life, he had been alone, relying on a blood knife to rise step by step. Now that he has family, he has an inexplicable impulse to protect them. This feeling is very good. As for yesterday's incident, he will investigate it himself and figure out who wanted to kill him. Brother Lu, a towering figure, how could he give birth to such a useless person like you? It's really embarrassing for the Lu family. What you did yesterday was simply inferior to a beast. Yang Zi stood up and completely erupted. This incident made the Su family unable to hold their heads up in the entire Kanglin city and even the Great Yan dynasty, and they would be three points lower in the future. Lu Wuxie did not refute, as his memories of his parents had long been blurred and had mysteriously disappeared since childhood. This matter has nothing to do with my parents. It's up to me to take responsibility for it. Lu Wuxie was somewhat displeased. The entire Su family, except for Su Yilin who treated him fairly well, dared not flatter anyone else. As for Su Lingxue, she had always been aloof and although we grew up together, we had very little contact in our daily lives. Take it all on your own. What are you taking on? The outside world says our Su family is not strict in discipline and wants to hand you over, beating you to death with a stick. Yang Zi let out a sneer. It wasn't because her husband still had some status, could he still stand here intact now? He had already been beaten to death. Various unpleasant words were spoken from her mouth, but Lu Wuxie remained indifferent and listened quietly. Over the years, he owed the Su family too much, so scolding him was harmless. All right. Su Yilin interrupted Yang Zi, saying, what would be the proper way to continue? No matter how bad Lu Wuxia is, he is also the only son of Brother Lu. Without Brother Lu, their Su family would have been destroyed long ago. He remembered this kindness in his heart. My father dot in dot law and mother dot in dot law, if it's okay, I'll go down first. Lu Wuxia bowed and bowed, whether they agreed or not. After speaking, he walked towards the outside of the main hall and remained calm from beginning to end. As usual, Yang Zi would scold him and occasionally playfully smile. She would also refute a few words. Today's attitude was too abnormal. Could it be that yesterday's incident had dealt him too much of a blow? If you have nothing to do, don't go out. Stay at home and practice honestly. As Lu Wuxie was about to leave the hall, Su Yilin's voice came over, warming his heart. He paused for a moment, nodded slightly, and returned to his residence. Clean up the house, wash some dirty clothes, sit cross-legged, and the mysterious text that appears in your mind has not been checked yet. As consciousness entered the soul sea, his whole body trembled and he said, this is the long-lost Tai Huang Wen. Lu Wuxie was greatly shocked. Tai Huang Wen had already disappeared and would not be known in the mortal world. 
Even in the immortal world, no more than five people knew Tai Huangwen, and he was one of them. At the beginning of the birth of the universe in the wilderness world, it had already perished and disappeared into the long river of history. Spend a burning incense stick time sorting out all the Tai Huang texts, with every word being precious, until the true intention of the Tao. The most terrifying is the last paragraph, where everything in the world is swallowed, refined, and transformed. Tai Huang swallows the sky technique. Five big characters floated in front of him, grand and majestic, stirring the heart and soul. A torrential aura burst out from his body. What a terrifying Dharma decision. The Hongmeng Immortal Way technique I practiced in my previous life is not on the same level as it. The Hongmeng Immortal Way is definitely one of the best Dharma decisions in the Lingyin Immortal Realm. In my past life, I relied on the Hongmeng Immortal Way to cultivate and reach the Immortal Emperor Realm. Is this too wild to swallow the sky secret able to break through the constraints of heaven and earth and enter a higher level? Lu Wuxia dare not think further. What will happen after the immortal emperor? No one knows. I hope the Tai Huang swallowing heaven technique is not like other immortal cultivation methods that ordinary people cannot cultivate. He secretly said that he had tried several techniques just now, but none of them could be practiced. He felt uneasy and followed the instructions of the Tai Huang swallowing heaven technique to practice for the first time. At the moment of operation, the entire courtyard became extremely restless, with spiritual energy floating in the void, making a sizzling sound, rushing in crazily through the crack of the door, penetrating into the body. A large amount of spiritual energy was transformed into liquid, and after entering the elixir field, it was absorbed by the heavenly divine cauldron, which further shocked Lu Wuxia. Self-absorbed spiritual energy Anyway, the ancient heaven swallowing technique can be practiced, which is a good thing. As for being sucked away by the heaven swallowing divine cauldron, I don't really care. Be sure to cultivate, completely release, and fully activate the Tai Huang swallowing heaven technique. The terrifying spiritual energy forms like a liquid, impacting his muscles and meridians. Nurtured by spiritual energy, the weak meridians emit a faint luster, and a large amount of black dirt overflows through his pores, filling the entire room with a foul odor. The operation method is decisive, bouncing away the foul odor and revealing new skin, making it smooth like jade. The whole person's skin seems to be rejuvenated, like a newborn baby. Wash the marrow and cut hair. Just practicing a cup of tea for a long time, most of the impurities in the body are cleared. If we continue to practice, it will be okay. The body is the foundation, and the more solid you fight, the higher your future achievements will be. Lu Wuxia is very clear about this and will never be stingy. He will strip away excess spiritual energy, refine his physical body, and not rush to break through the realm for now. An hour passed quietly opening his eyes, a cold light burst out, forming two cold and piercing auras. Not bad, after practicing for an hour, there are ten more mysterious drops of liquid in the heavenly divine cauldron. Pour out the liquid, flow into his body, and continue to transform. A powerful cyclone brews around him, and the muscles and veins emit the sound of war drums, like ten thousand horses galloping. Twice the day after tomorrow. Three times the day after tomorrow. Four times the day after tomorrow. In just a few short breaths, the waste from the day after tomorrow gradually broke through several levels and reached the day after tomorrow's quadruple before slowly stopping. A mouthful of turbid air spewed out from his mouth, and his whole body felt comfortable. He was like being reborn from a bath of blood, emitting a dusty aura from top to bottom. Step out of the room and stand under the banyan tree, looking down in contemplation. Practicing cannot be separated from the realm of wealth and the Dharma. To quickly improve one's realm, a large amount of money is needed. However, relying solely on the Tai Huang Swallow Heaven technique is still not enough. The primary task is to refine the continuation pulse pill and purchase medicinal herbs for refining body quenching fluids. The acquired realm requires repeated physical training. 
UU reading www.uukangshu. Net, I touched my smooth chin and whispered to myself. Take out paper and pen, write down the materials for refining the continuation pulse pill on it. After hesitating for a moment, write another prescription, fold it up, and put it in your pocket. It was already morning, and the entire Sioux family was busy. Closing the courtyard door and walking through the long corridor, I met several servants from the Sioux family on the way, with a disdainful expression on their faces. They had never had a good impression of this uncle. Shame, we have lost our lives. It will be difficult for our Sioux family to hold their heads up in Kanglin City in the future. Lu Wuxia had not yet left and a low voice of discussion came from behind, and several maids pointed and pointed at him. The saddest thing should be Mississippi. On her first day of marriage, this useless person actually went to stroll around the brothels, just strolling around, and became very animalistic. Now, everyone in Kanglin City knows it. New book release, seeking collection, seeking recommendation tickets, seeking monthly tickets, seeking everything. Chapter 3 Noise You are listening at NovelFull.audio Crossing the Sioux family gate and facing the sunlight, Lu Wuxia took a deep breath. He is a dignified immortal emperor, not yet able to have a common understanding with a group of servants. Kanglin City is very large, with a population of several million. Apart from the four major families, the most powerful one is undoubtedly the Lord of Kanglin City. The streets in the city are crisscrossing, with numerous shops and shops. The Great Yen Dynasty is vast, and Kanglin City is just one of them. The place where Lu Wuxia is going is called Danbao Pavilion. It is the largest supplier of medicinal herbs and a selling point for medicinal herbs in Kanglin City. It does not belong to any family and is not under the jurisdiction of the city lord. It is said that behind them stands the extremely powerful Tianbao sect. Shumai Dan is very rare, with a low grade and extremely difficult to refine. The three big characters, Golden Light Shining, hang on the lintel of the Danbao Pavilion, and it can be seen clearly from a distance. There are many people entering and exiting the martial arts. Following the flow of people, Lu Wuxia walked in and saw a huge palace, divided into several areas, including pill selling points, medicinal herb selling areas, and so on. There are also some monster skins, fur, and inner pills that cannot conceal the fragrance emitted by the pills through the counter, and the ferocious energy released by the monster inner pills. May I ask what the young master needs? A young servant in green quickly stepped forward and warmly greeted him, but a hint of disdain flashed in his eyes. Compared to the others, Lu Wuxie was dressed too ordinary and his green shirt was washed white. I want to see you in charge, could you please inform me? The disdain in the other person's eyes filled Lu Wuxie's eyes, and a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. We are very busy with our affairs and don't have time to meet idle people. If we don't buy medicine, we'll just get out. The young servant in green didn't hesitate to push, but didn't push. A hint of killing intent flashed away from Lu Wuxia's eyes. This move attracted the attention of many people, who stopped and looked at them. Isn't he the Su family's son? In. Law. Why did he come to the Danbao Pavilion? Regarding the Su family's son. In. Law, it has already spread throughout the entire Kanglin city and no one knows it, especially the scene last night, which is well dot known to everyone. Upon hearing the Sioux family's son dot in dot law, a hint of mockery flashed on the young servant's face, along with a hint of sneer and a look of disgust. Get lost, our Danbao pavilion doesn't do your business. The servant's face showed a fierce light. He wanted Lu Wuxia to get out of here quickly and not to step on the Danbao pavilion. He spoke so wildly. The Danbao Pavilion is not under the jurisdiction of any power, causing these young servants in green clothes to have high eyes and be arrogant. The warriors who come in usually have a flattering expression. A small blue-clad servant in Danbao Pavilion is not something that ordinary people can afford to offend. It can be imagined how high the status of Danbao Pavilion is. Are you sure you want to miss this business? 
don't blame me for not reminding you. Once you miss this business, you may not be able to afford it. Lu Wuxia's eyes turned cold, and a chill enveloped him, causing the young servant in green to stumble. Damn it, you trash dare to threaten me. If you refuse to leave, then I'll kill you and throw it out. Fight as you say, the servants of Danbao Pavilion are not low in strength. They punched Lu Wuxia's face with a punch, which was incredibly fast. The fist wind howled, creating a cyclone that lifted up Lu Wuxia's hair at the temples. If it were an ordinary person, the young servant in green wouldn't dare to take action yet. The Su family's son in law has already become a street mouse, and everyone is shouting and fighting against him without any pressure. Bang! Before the punch could get close, Lu Wuxia lifted his foot and kicked the young servant in green in the abdomen fiercely. His body was thrown high and hit the counter, causing the hard counter to split into pieces and the medicinal herbs inside to scatter all over the ground. The sudden kick caught everyone off guard, automatically freeing up a large space in the crowd to avoid causing trouble and offending the Danbao Pavilion. Don't try to mess around in Kanglin City in the future. Cough. The young servant in green was coughing blood on the ground. Suddenly, more than ten servants rushed over from other directions, two of whom were holding weapons and surrounding Lu Wuxia. You are too presumptuous. Dare to harm others in our Danbao pavilion, take him down. One of them was wearing a purple robe, probably a small person in charge. With a command, more than ten servants joined forces, creating a towering aura that threatened Lu Wuxia. Everyone's strength is impressive, and the man in the purple robe has reached the fifth level of strength after birth, with extraordinary strength. The ruler in his hand slashes at the back of Lu Wuxia's head, making a killing move. At this point, Lu Wuxia had no other choice. If he didn't take action, he would die in their hands. With seven star steps, he easily avoided the killing move and appeared behind them. Like a ghost, the attacks of more than ten people all fell through. Transforming one's palm into a fist, smashing it into the air, turning around to punch, with smooth movements without any hindrance. This simple fist technique, in the hands of Lu Wuxia, can transform decay into magic. Bang, bang, bang. Five servants were lifted up and thrown into the counter, lying on the ground howling in agony. These servants were not low in strength, and the few who were shaken up reached triple the day after tomorrow. The man in the purple robe let out a fierce roar, like an eagle, suddenly falling. With a fierce momentum, he rolled up the medicinal herbs on the ground, truly worthy of the five heavens of the day after tomorrow. Compared to the three heavens, his strength was several levels higher. Lu Wuxia did not take advantage of his sharpness, but avoided it sideways. His current combat power is more than enough to deal with the five heavens the day after tomorrow. He does not want to expose his strength too early. He has not yet found the person who secretly wants to kill him, so he needs to hide himself. Stepping on the seven stars and easily avoiding it, the man in the purple robe failed with a single blow and shouted angrily. The sound of fighting in the hall alarmed the entire Danbao pavilion, and a servant hurriedly ran into the inner hall to move reinforcements. Stop it! A cold shout interrupted them, and Lu Wuxia stood quietly in the central area, without any injuries on his body. On the ground, eight or nine people were lying in a row, injured by Lu Wuxia's shock. A burly old man, shooting stars with great strides, appeared in the hall, looking at the medicinal herbs scattered everywhere. He was furious and his eyes were like eagle eyes, landing on Lu Wuxia with a terrifying aura that soared into the air. Congenital Realm The burly old man was a master, and everyone present remained silent as if they were cicadas. No one dared to speak and retreated to the distance. Lu Wuxia was isolated and stood quietly in place alone. Why did you attack someone at Danbao Pavilion? The burly old man, named Lei Tao, is in charge of the Danbao Pavilion Hall. He has been serving as a deacon in Danbao Pavilion for more than thirty years and has never encountered anyone who dares to harm anyone in Danbao Pavilion. This is the first time Lu Wuxia has done so. 
I have something to see the steward here. This person not only doesn't recommend me, but also uses foul language. It was he who took the initiative against me, and I was just defending myself. Lu Wuxia didn't want to explain, but in order to successfully obtain the medicinal herbs, he briefly recounted what had just happened. Where do you think our Danbao pavilion is? You can meet anyone you want. Report to Deacon Lei, and I suggest that this person be executed as a warning to others. The purple-robed man looked murderous. He wanted to kill Lu Wuye quickly, but the ruler in his hand suddenly appeared, which turned out to be a powerful weapon. The other servants nodded one after another, urging Deacon Lei to quickly kill him. Regarding the information about Lu Wuxia, Lei Tao has some knowledge. Just now, he had already learned about Lu Wuxia's identity from his population. Due to the face of the Su family, he temporarily suppressed it and did not take the killer action. I am the steward here. What are you looking for me for? Suppressing the anger in his heart, Yu Yu will seek compensation from the Su family for the losses here. The reputation of Danbao Pavilion cannot be damaged. There are too many people here and it's inconvenient to speak. Can you find a quieter place? Lu Wuxia frowned. There were some things he didn't want to mention in front of too many people. From beginning to end, his gaze was calm. Faced with the pressure of Lei Tao's aura, he still appeared very plain giving the impression that he really didn't pay attention to the people in front of him. What are you, looking for a quieter place? I think you're here to cause trouble. I suggest breaking his legs and letting him know the consequences of offending our Danbao pavilion. The man in the purple robe was reluctant to let go and his body was about to move. As long as Lei Tao said a word, he could fly up at any time. Just now, he was avoided by Lu Wuxia and was filled with anger. Pop. A loud slap sounded in the Danbao pavilion, and the man in the purple robe's body flew backwards, like a broken kite, fiercely hitting the corner of the wall. Noisy. Chapter 4. Lin Yuan. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A loud slap echoed through the entire Danbao pavilion, and Lei Tao's eyes narrowed, his mouth wide open. The others looked even more bewildered. Lu Wuxia dared to harm others in public, or in front of the deacon of Danbao Pavilion, feeling like the sky had been pierced. Ah! The man in the purple robe let out a scream, disheveled and just slapped, knocking out a few of his teeth without causing any harm. When he stood up, he let out a sharp cry, causing the beams of the room to hum and spitting out blood stasis in his mouth, mixed with a few broken teeth. Little beast, I'm going to kill you. Bullying his body, the ruler in his hand emitted a brilliant luster, intending to kill Lu Wuxia. Just one more word, I'll kill you immediately. The body mysteriously disappeared in place, and Lu Wuxia appeared in front of the man in the purple robe. He reached forward with his big hand and pinched his neck, hiding his strength just now and not wanting to cause any trouble. I really want to seek death. Lu Wuxia doesn't mind fulfilling him. It's just a small Danbao pavilion. As long as we repair our heart meridians and cooperate with the Tai Huang swallowing heaven technique, it won't take long to break through the innate realm. We can use some immortal emperor techniques. Quiet. You can smell the needle falling. The entire Danbao pavilion was terrifyingly quiet, and the trash in their eyes suddenly became so powerful. Practicing an extremely strong step can easily capture the five heavens of the day after tomorrow. Lei Tao withdrew his gaze, his eerie steps failing to capture any trace. When did this useless person become so powerful? Young Master Lu, you have repeatedly injured people in our Danbao pavilion. Please give me an explanation. Otherwise, no wonder I am impolite. Even if the Su family leader comes, it will be difficult for you to take care of everything. Lei Tao's intention is very obvious. If he doesn't give an explanation to Danbao Pavilion today, he won't be able to leave alive. He won't even give face to the Su family, he's extremely domineering. From the shock, everyone in the four directions recovered with a look of fear. 
The martial artists who had just mocked him hid behind the crowd to prevent Lu Wuxia from coming to him for justice. Take this and talk to your senior management about it. Lu Wuxia lost his patience and took out a pill from his arms. With a flick of his hand, the thin paper, as thin as cicada wings, landed lightly in front of Lei Tao. With this single move, it attracted many cheers. Taking the paper, Lei Tao has been in charge of the Danbao Pavilion for so many years. He has seen a lot and is knowledgeable. Lu Wuxia dares to harm people in public, so he must have some support and dare not be too radical. The Dan Fong falls in the palm of his hand and gently opens it. His gaze touched on the elixir, and his whole body suddenly shook. When he was young, he was also an alchemist with limited talent and could not be promoted. He held a deacon position in the Danbao Pavilion and could only refine some low-dot-grade elixirs. You can tell at a glance that this elixir is extremely extraordinary. What do you want to talk about? Lei Tao's tone changed a bit. Although Danbao Pavilion sells pills, the variety is extremely limited. Most of the pills sold are first-grade Peiyuan pills, second-grade heart-nourishing pills are limited to monthly purchase and sale, and as for third-grade pills, there are none. The grade level written on the Dan Fong is between the third and second grades. Once it is released, what it means is clear to Lei Tao. Do you want to talk here? Lu Wuxia frowned. He didn't like the noise, the hall was too noisy. You come with me. In front of everyone, Lei Tao invited Lu Wuxia to the inner hall for a chat and discuss important matters. This scene made everyone present feel like they were struck by lightning. Shouldn't Lei Tao have taken action to suppress Lu Wuxia? The sudden flip caught everyone off guard, and the piece of paper thrown to Lei Tao recorded something on it, causing Lei Tao's attitude to change instantly. The two of them walked through the inner hall, which was decorated with grandeur and grandeur. The Danbao Pavilion was not short of money and was as rich as oil. Introduce a private room for two people to enter one by one. The private room is not large, over 20 square meters, and is decorated with luxurious furnishings, including tables and chairs. Fresh fruits are also placed on the table. The hall exploded, and everyone's faces were filled with unbelievable words. What's going on? Why didn't Danbao Pavilion take action to kill him? Everyone was puzzled. The Danbao Pavilion ordered a ban on fighting. Anyone who dares to cause trouble in the Danbao Pavilion will be ruthlessly suppressed. Last year, someone caused trouble here and was killed alive. Today, Lu Wuxia not only caused trouble, but also took action to hurt others. It was unbelievable that the Danbao Pavilion could hold back and even invited him in. Humph, what's going on inside? I bet he'll be carried out later. Dot. There were more and more people gathered outside with various opinions, and no one left. Instead, they sat down and waited for the outcome. Tell me, what do you want to talk about? Lei Tao spoke in a low tone, his anger still lingering. Bringing Lu Wuxia in does not mean that this matter has been exposed. If he does not receive a satisfactory answer, he will also take action to kill him. Don't you doubt that what's written on it is fake? A wicked smile appeared at the corner of Lu Wuxia's mouth, recognizing that the elixir was extraordinary, proving that Lei Tao was not just a rascal. He had been wandering around the Danbao Pavilion for years and had seen various types of elixirs. He didn't even have the ability to discern, so he could go home now. If it's fake, you should know the consequences. A hint of sharpness flashed in Lei Tao's eyes, daring to deceive the Danbao Pavilion. Even if he was the Su family's son. In law, he could kill him without fail. You should have a two star alchemist in your Danbao Pavilion. Why don't you let him identify it and discuss it later? Lu Wuxia sat quietly on the soft collapse, picked up the fresh fruit on the table, took a bite, and the juice splashed everywhere. He was able to enter the private room of Danbao Pavilion to discuss business, all of whom were influential figures in Kanglin City. He was a useless person who brought in a son. In law, definitely the first time. Someone, go and invite Master Hua to come. 
Lei Tao gave a command, and someone outside the door promised to leave quickly. The private room fell into a brief silence. Faced with Lei Tao's fierce aura, Lu Wuxie remained calm and surprised. If it were someone else, he would have been so scared that he would wet his pants long ago. He was fine, with a calm expression on his face. After finishing a fruit, someone opened the door to the private room. Lei Tao, I am refining pills. Please invite me. What's the matter? If my pills are damaged, I will make it difficult for you to take them. Master Hua had white hair all over his head, sharp eyes, and strong steps. He walked in with a shooting star and shook his sleeve and robe, his face full of displeasure. Junwu Continent Alchemist is an extremely precious profession. Martial practitioners cannot practice without elixirs. To be called an alchemist, one must master the fire attribute and possess strong soul talent in order to qualify as an alchemist. When the Lord of Danbao Pavilion sees Master Hua, he must be polite. Master Hua, this kid is taking out a pill to discuss with our Danbao Pavilion. Can you verify if this pill is true or false? If it is false. Lei Tao made a sinister move, the elixir was fake, and he personally killed Lu Wuxie. Picking up the elixir on the table, Master Hua didn't pay much attention at first. Generally, all the elixirs on the market were mastered by the Danbao Pavilion, except for those rare elixirs. Even if you don't understand the alchemy steps, it's useless even if you get the elixir. This is why Lu Wuxie dared to show the elixir to Lei Tao in public. It's useless for him to remember it. There is no introduction to the alchemy steps in the elixir, it's just a recipe. Picking up the elixir on the table, Master Hua remained expressionless. While on the road, he heard the sound of discussions outside. After entering, he looked disdainful towards Lu Wuxie. Looking around, my eyebrows furrowed slightly. The prescription was very ingenious, but as for its authenticity, I don't know for now. Master Hua, how are you doing? Lei Tao asked, eager to know the result, as he had never seen such a pill before. Tian Ling Dan, this is the first time I've heard of it. Master Hua put down the elixir, tapped the table with his fingers, closed his eyes, and could deduce something from the medicinal herbs. The energy and spirit of heaven and earth are the source of food, and the exquisite seven orifices are the source of elixir. Lu Wuxia suddenly said a sentence, which shook Master Hua's whole body. He suddenly opened his eyes, revealing a hint of brilliance. This sentence made him tremble all over and his face excited. Ling Yuan. Two words blurted out. Chapter 5. Flipping over and not recognizing people. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The two words, Ling Yuan, shook the entire private room, causing a buzzing sound. Master Hua contained internal energy and emitted it, forming a strong force that swept around. The fruits placed on the table scattered all over the ground. The Tianling pill is a reduced version he brought out, which is less effective than the original formula by one thousandth. When it is placed in Kanglin City, it is definitely one of the best pills. Regarding the efficacy of Tianling pill, there is a detailed introduction on the prescription, which is much higher than all the pills currently sold on the market. What shocked him was the raw materials needed, which are ten times cheaper than the second-grade heart-nourishing pill. They are common spiritual medicines on the market, such as coxcomb herb, which is everywhere. You came here with a fake elixir to make a fool of yourself. I'll spare you for your first offense. Get out of here quickly, otherwise no wonder I'm impolite. A hint of greed flashed in the corner of Master Hua's eyes, and he quickly concealed it. If he could master the method of refining the heavenly spirit pill, he could be promoted to a three-dot-star alchemist and go to the Great Yan Imperial City, which is the gathering place for cultivators. Kanglin City is only a small part of the entire Great Yan Imperial Dynasty. What is domineering? This is domineering. If you want to swallow the elixir, turning your face is faster than turning a book. He already knows the medicinal formula on the elixir, and if you give him a month to study, he will definitely be able to refine it. 
Accusing Lu Wuxia of bringing a fake prescription, the purpose was self-evident, and Lei Tao's eyes showed a strange expression. Based on his understanding of Master Hua, if the Dan Fong were really fake, he would have left long ago and even started a big fight. The scene before him left him somewhat puzzled. The value of this elixir could make a two-star alchemist give up his dignity and falsely accuse a small son. In law. Pop 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 pop. Lu Wuxie suddenly clapped his hands, revealing a strong hint of mockery at the corner of his mouth. Master Hua's greedy gaze naturally couldn't escape his gaze. The Danbao Pavilion really broadened my horizons. It's just a small pill that made you show such ugly faces. Today, it really broadened my horizons. With a sarcastic expression on his face, Master Hua blushed and turned green, feeling a bit embarrassed. Lei Tao even lowered his head, looking guilty. Kid, you injured my servant in the Danbao Pavilion and deceived us with a fake prescription. You deserve to die a thousand times. Master Hua completely tore open his face, his clothes bulging and his imposing demeanor swept over, forcibly suppressing Lu Wuxia, finding a charge to falsely accuse him, and naturally obtaining the elixir. Even if he causes trouble, who would believe a useless person, especially a small son? In law. Kill me. Just rely on you. Lu Wuxia sneered repeatedly, his gaze piercing Master Hua without any hesitation. His sharp eyes, like two sharp swords, pierced Master Hua's soul, causing his body to shake and almost fall. What kind of eyes are these? They can see through illusion. Master Hua was extremely angry. In the Danbao Pavilion, his status was second only to the pavilion master. When Lei Tao saw him, he would be polite. How could he have been humiliated like this? He was scared by a small ant and looked fierce. If you want to die, then I will fulfill you. With one palm crushing Lu Wuxia, Lei Tao was too late to stop him. He didn't expect that things would develop like this, and Master Hua suddenly attacked the assassin. If you want to die early, just go ahead and take action. Every time you refine pills, does your trembling acupoint experience severe pain. Moreover, in the past one or two years, the pain has become more intense, and you need to swallow painkillers to alleviate it. Lu Wuxia stood quietly in place, without even a gesture of retaliation. Just as Lei Tao was about to intervene, Master Hua's palm suddenly withdrew and stared at Lu Wuxia as if he had seen a ghost. This is his secret, how did he know? Every time he refined a pill, there was indeed a sharp pain in his trembling acupoint. In the past few months, the pain had made him want to die, and he wanted to commit suicide. Danbao Pavilion sells a large number of pills every month, most of which are Peiyuan pills made by Master Hua. Over the past two months, the number of Peiyuan pills has sharply decreased. Master Hua claims to be feeling unwell, but everyone doesn't care. You. How do you know? He panicked, and when he spoke, he regretted it. He didn't acknowledge what Lu Wuxia had said, but a hint of pleading flashed in his eyes as he thought of the pain emanating from his trembling acupoint. In order to upgrade to a two-star alchemist, you forcibly swallowed a spirit-breaking pill, causing damage to your heart. Your heart belongs to fire. Every time you refine the pill, you control the fire attribute, and your heart bears great pressure, which is transmitted to your trembling acupoint. Within three months, you will definitely die. Lu Wuxie did not hide anything. He revealed the problems inside his body, and Master Hua's face suddenly changed. Even the matter of him swallowing the breaking spirit pill was dug out, as if someone had stripped off his clothes and stood in front of them. Lei Tao's mouth was wide open, and the breaking spirit pill was a taboo pill. After swallowing it, the side effects were extremely obvious, and no one was willing to try it. What should I do? You must know the solution, right? Master Hua panicked. He didn't want to die yet. He grabbed Lu Wuxia's arm and wanted to know how to resolve it. The intense pain from his trembling acupoint left him with lingering palpitations, and at most for three months, he would be killed by the pain. 
There are ways, but. Why should I save you? I shook him off fiercely, with a look of disdain on my face. Even Lei Tao couldn't bear it anymore. Just now, I falsely accused Lu Wuxia and brought a fake prescription, almost killing someone to silence me. As long as you can save me, I can promise you anything, money. Beauty. I'll give you everything you want. As the chief alchemist of the Danbao Pavilion, he has accumulated a wealth over the years. If he could exchange his life, he would be willing to give up this wealth. Give it all to me. Lu Wuxia let out a sneer. Even Danbao Pavilion may not be able to take out what I want. There was a hint of contempt in the corner of his eyes. He didn't even consider how much wealth a small second-level alchemist could have. Young Master Lu, please, how on earth would you be willing to save me? Master Huat gave up his dignity and trembled in pain, causing him to feel excruciating pain. His eyes showed a pleading expression, like a drowning person grabbing a life.saving straw. I can also save you, and I don't want your wealth either. I came to Danbao Pavilion for one purpose, to cooperate with you. Once the Heavenly Spirit Pill is released, why worry about no resources flowing in? He doesn't want to give others a handle and take the initiative in his own hands. Tell me quickly, how do you want to cooperate? Master Hua's face was urgent and his eyes were eager, leaving Lei Tao speechless for a moment. Is this still the two-star alchemist in his mind? It's similar to a pug, almost kneeling down to lick the soles of Lu Wuxia's shoes. Do you have this qualification? The cold mocking sound was like a harsh slap in the face of Master Hua. No matter how painful it was, he had to endure it. In order to survive, dignity could be sacrificed. Lei Tao couldn't bear to watch anymore. Turning his head, what happened today completely overturned his values. Little son. In law, injured more than ten young servants in green clothes in the lobby, slapped the lobby leader with one palm, took out a mysterious prescription, and even revealed that Master Huo was suffering from a hidden illness, forcing him to be willing to be humble. Is this still the son. In law of the previous playboy? The lord of the pavilion is not in Kanglin City. The matter of cooperation can be decided by me alone. You can speak up. After Master Hua finished speaking, he glanced at Lei Tao, who did not make a statement, proving that what he said was true and indeed qualified for it. Lu Wuxia was not in a hurry to discuss cooperation, so he asked Master Hua to take out a set of silver needles to first treat the evil disease inside his body. Fingers like the wind, long silver needles pierced Master Hua's trembling acupoint, emitting a slight rhythmic sound. One by one, Yu Yu was dazzled by reading. Lei Tao's face changed repeatedly. In his memory, Su Sun. In. Law knew nothing but food, drink, and entertainment. All the silver needles accurately penetrated the major orifices around the body, and a warm current grew from the soles of Master Hua's feet, extending to his limbs and bones. The pain in the trembling acupoint gradually disappeared, which excited him greatly. Your hidden illness is too deep, it will take five times to completely eradicate it. Pulling out the silver needle, Lu Wuxia said without any emotion, using his means, it can be cured in one go. Healing him so quickly, and then turning around and not recognizing anyone, wouldn't it be like drawing water from a bamboo basket in vain? Thank you very much, young Master Lu. I won't say thank you for your great kindness. I will keep this kindness in my heart, and in the future, I will be able to use it in old and decayed places. Feel free to speak up. I changed my face and looked completely different from before. Thank you, there's no need. Let's discuss cooperation next. Lu Wuxia waved his hand and interrupted him. The situation inside the private room turned upside down, with Lu Wuxia at the center of everything. The most eerie thing was that he exuded the aura of a superior. Chapter 6 Fantasy Powder You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The cooperation was very pleasant. In the first month, Lu Wuxia refined the pill herself and went to the Su family every five days to get it. 
After obtaining a profit of 55%, one month later, the refining method was handed over to the Danbao Pavilion, and the profit was 37%. The Danbao Pavilion received 70% of the profit, and Lu Wuxia took 30% of it. The contract was for a period of three years, and the ownership of the Tianling pill belonged to the Danbao Pavilion three years later. These are some medicinal herbs that I need. You have gathered them all and sent them to me. The required coins will be paid in advance and deducted from the profits. Take out the pre-written list and place it on the table. Lei Tao picks it up and frowns slightly. After some discussion, his attitude towards Lu Wuxia greatly changed. He suspected that the rumors from the outside world were not true, and that the aura of a high dot ranking official was not false. Only strong individuals who held the power of life and death would appear. We can gather all these spiritual medicines from Danbao Pavilion, but the nine young fruit and red spirit grass need to be transported from the Imperial City, which will take at least five days. Lei Tao put down the order and spoke in a slightly displeased tone. I'll come back in five days, then. These two medicinal herbs are the main ingredients for refining the continuation pulse pill, and there should be no loss. The goal has been achieved, so I stood up and walked outside. The two of them stood up one after another, especially Master Hua, whose attitude had completely changed and he followed behind with a respectful expression. His little life is still in the hands of Lu Wuxia, and he must be carefully served. Master Hua, are you sure the Danfang is true? If this cooperation fails, it will have a huge impact on our Danbao pavilion. If the pavilion master returns, he will definitely blame us. From beginning to end, Lei Tao did not participate in the negotiations. Many matters related to Danbao pavilion were presided over by Master Hua, who was only responsible for sales. I have deduced it more than ten times, and it is highly likely that the Danfang is true. Once it is released, our Danbao pavilion status in the Great Yen Dynasty will be greatly enhanced. You can send it to him and if you have any other requirements, please satisfy him together. Whether it is true or false will be known in five days. After finishing his last sentence, Master Hua showed a hint of malice in the corner of his eyes. Five days later, he couldn't take out the heavenly spirit pill and would personally go to the Su family to eliminate Lu Wuxia. Stepping out of the inner hall, it had only been half an hour. The hall was overcrowded, and the broken counter had been replaced. The beaten young servants in green clothes gritted their teeth when they saw Lu Wuxia. Kid, you actually came out alive, die for me. The man in the purple robe suddenly attacked, and at the moment when Lu Wuxia appeared, he wielded a ruler and slashed it into the air. The sound of breaking through the air rushed forward, catching everyone off guard. Who would have expected that Lu Wuxia could enter the inner hall and still walk out unscathed, which was illogical. Deacon Lei, is this your way of treating guests? Lu Wuxia did not make a move, but his divine sense moved. Lei Tao deliberately hid behind the door curtain, trying to test Lu Wuxia's true methods. The matter had come to an end, and it was difficult to hide it. There was still cooperation between them. Zhou Tong, stop it. A shooting star appeared in the hall with a cold shout, interrupting Zhou Tong. The ruler in his hand paused in mid-air, and Lei Tao's innate force almost lifted him off. The strong energy repelled Zhou Tongjin, his hair scattered, and his face looked grim. He couldn't understand why Lei Tao wanted to stop him from killing Lu Wuxia. Deacon Lei, let me add one more thing. I don't want to see this person again in Danbao Pavilion in the future. If I can't do it, the cooperation will be terminated. After Lu Wuxia finished speaking, he walked outside and the crowd automatically made way for a passage. Leaving a silhouette in countless suspense, it disappeared from everyone's sight. Zhou Tong, Pack your things and leave Danbao Pavilion. I will pay you three months' salary. From now on, you have no relationship with Danbao Pavilion. Lei Tao said expressionlessly, making everyone present as if they had been struck by lightning. This was the scene that caused a commotion. 
For the sake of the Su family's little son. In law, Zhou Tong was expelled. What exactly happened between them? No. Zhou Tong roared up to the sky and sat down on the ground. The salary of Danbao Pavilion was very high. Over the years, he relied on being a small leader in Danbao Pavilion to live a prosperous life. Without the support of Danbao Pavilion, he was nothing and undoubtedly cut off his future. It's all this trash, I'm going to kill him. Zhou Tong stood up, with crimson eyes and no salary, and left the Danbao Pavilion. Lei Tao did not stop him and allowed him to leave. Sort out all the necessary medicinal herbs on top and send them to the Su family. He took out the list left by Lu Wuxia and asked the medicinal herb leader to prepare it quickly. Yes. The leader in charge of medicinal herbs noticed that there were signs of something wrong, so he quickly took the order and began to apply the medicine. As for Zhou Tong's angry roar, it had long been ignored. Everyone was curious about what Lu Wuxia had done, which had caused such a significant change in the attitude of the Danbao Pavilion towards him. Leaving Danbao Pavilion, Lu Wuxia did not directly return to the Su family and walked towards West Street. The few fox friends who invited him last night live here. It is necessary to investigate who wants to kill him. Just turn the street corner, two servants of the Su family happened to pass by and witnessed Lu Wuxia walking towards West Street. Go back and inform the master, that useless person has gone to find his friends again. In secret, the servants of the Su family called Hulia Wuxia a waste, and it was no longer a secret. Passing through two small alleys, a courtyard appeared in front of them. Usually, Lu Wuxia likes to come over and find the three of them to go out and eat, drink, and have fun. The three of them must have been aware of last night's incident. Pushing open the courtyard door, it was empty inside. Stepping quickly into the room, all the softness inside disappeared, leaving Kanglin City overnight. Glancing across the hall, he suddenly froze in the corner, throwing away an inconspicuous small sachet, about the size of a baby's palm. He reached out to pick it up and sniffed it by his nose. Based on his knowledge of three friends, he never wore this kind of sachet. Who left it? Fantasy scattering. With a contracted gaze, the scent of hallucinogenic powder is released from the sachet. Taking a sip can cause confusion and lead to various irrational actions. As expected, last night someone bribed the three of them and lured me to the brothel. They secretly slapped me to death, causing the entire brothel to collapse and creating a false impression of being crushed to death. Put away the sachet, the psychedelic powder is extremely difficult to refine. No one can refine the entire Kanglin city. Who wants to kill him? Without any other clues, he turned around and left the room, quickly returning to the Su family. Many servants gathered outside the main hall, stretching their heads and looking inside. What had happened? Su Yilin furrowed his brows and placed several baskets of weapons in front of him, including knives, swords, forks, and halberds. The weapons of the Su family were very famous in Kanglin City, and the supply was in short supply. The main source of income for the family relied on the weapon workshop. The Su family has a total of five weapon workshops, and they produce at least thousands of weapons every day, which still cannot meet the needs of warriors in Kanglin City. My mother. In. Lo Yang Zi was also present, and Su Lingxue's eyebrows furrowed slightly. She sat quietly inside, like a pure and flawless white lotus, with a hint of worry between her eyebrows. I heard that all the masters of our Su family's alchemists have been poached by the Tian family, and they have also taken away our unique Su family's alchemy method. This time, it has dealt a huge blow to our Su family. Outside the main hall, there were whispers of discussion, and Lu Wuxia walked through the crowd, their voices clearly audible. The four major families in Kanglin City, the Su family makes a living by refining weapons, occupying about 70% of the market share in Kanglin City, and the remaining 30% is controlled by the Tian family. Their weapon refining skills are far inferior to those of the Su family. When he was young, Su Yilin rose to prominence through his weapon refining skills, 
and his skilled weapons were renowned in Kanglin City. In recent years, the Tian family has been hiring a master of weapon refining from somewhere, gradually surpassing the Su family's weapon refining techniques. The Su family's weapons have always been relatively affordable in terms of price. Although the Tian family's weapon refining techniques have caught up, their market share has always been dominated by the Su family. The two families were engaged in open and secret struggles. The Su family was relatively conservative and did not take the initiative to provoke trouble, while the Tian family was aggressive and had already poached several Su family alchemists. These masters were personally trained by Su Yilin, and like their masters and disciples, they would betray the Su family. The scattered weapons on the ground were very rough. Su Yilin picked up a long knife and lightly flicked his right index finger, creating a notch on the blade, which was clearly of poor quality. Putting down his weapon, he glanced outside and his gaze fell on Lu Wuxia. He had to grit his head and walk in, each with a look of schadenfreude on his face. You went to West Street again. Su Yilin's face darkened. He hadn't settled yesterday's matter with him yet. It had only been a while since he ran to West Street again, making him furious. The family matter was already on fire, and he still had the intention to go out and hang out. You useless person, you still have the face to come back. If it weren't for you, how could our Su family's reputation have plummeted? Yang Zi stood up and pointed at Lu Wuxia, shifting all responsibility onto him alone. The senior deacons of the Su family are all in the main hall, covering their mouths and smiling lightly, showing a contemptuous expression. This useless person has ruined the character of the Su family. Mother, let's deal with the issue of weapons first. Su Lingxue stood up and interrupted their conversation. No matter how bad Lu Wuxia was, he was her nominal husband, mocking Lu Wuxia like making fun of her. Glancing fiercely at Lu Wuxia, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net ignored him and was not well received, so he had to step aside and watch quietly. Deacon Lan, how many defective products have been sold in total? Su Yilin's eyebrows furrowed deeper and deeper, and he asked Director Lan. He was responsible for weapon sales, and all the accounts came from him. About 500 pieces, upon discovery, we immediately cut off the supply of goods. These are all returned defective products, and there aren't many left on the market. Deacon Lan answered truthfully, Fortunately he discovered it in a timely manner and did not have a large batch of products flowing into the market. Lu Wuxie picked up a long sword and lightly flicked it, emitting a mixed sound of rhythm. The high dot quality material did not fully exert its effect, and the refining technique was too unfamiliar. His brain quickly made an analysis. Uncle, the person claiming to be from the Danbao Pavilion has brought a big bag of medicinal herbs. You go and collect them. The butler walked in and the medicinal herbs from Danbao Pavilion had been delivered. He greeted his father. In. Law and left the main hall. Chapter 7 Blood Rainbow Saber Technique. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Su Yilin shook his head inside, holding no hope for Lu Wuxia, while others sneered incessantly. A big bag of medicinal herbs in an alchemy furnace. The Danbao Pavilion is very thoughtful and comprehensive in its work. Close the gate of the courtyard. Usually, there are not many people coming, but it is very quiet. All the medicinal herbs were poured out and piled up throughout the yard. There was a well in the yard, and some clean water was poured in, followed by a huge bathtub. There is no alchemy fire, so we can only find some dead wood, light it, put on an alchemy furnace, and throw these medicinal herbs into it. Quenching body fluid cannot even be considered a single-grade pill. Using it to soak the body has unexpected effects, making it the most suitable for beating bones and muscles. The first refining was somewhat unfamiliar, but after getting familiar with it, the technique suddenly accelerated, and a strong medicinal fragrance echoed over the yard. Spend most of the day refining a basin of quenching liquid, pour out one dot third of it and put it into the bathtub. Take off your clothes, keep only one pair of underwear, and dive your body into the bathtub. 
the piercing pain pierced through the pores and cleared the dirt inside. The Tai Huang Swallowing Heaven technique is in operation, and the spiritual energy above the entire courtyard forms a vortex, hovering above Lu Wuxia's head. The liquid formed by devouring the heavenly divine cauldron can help him quickly elevate his realm and break through his innate realm as soon as possible. A tingling sensation came from the muscles and veins, and the mud overflowed through the pores. The clear water in the wooden bucket gradually turned dark brown and was constantly changing. A foul odor emanated from the wooden barrel. After practicing for an hour, standing up, every inch of the bones heard bursts of roaring, and the whole body felt comfortable, as if taking a bath inside the body. Shu Tan Standing in the center of the yard, apply a set of boxing techniques to adapt to the changes brought by the physical body. Pick up a towel, wipe the sweat off your forehead, sit cross-legged, and a large number of martial arts secrets come to mind. The cultivation method has been solved. Next, it's time to cultivate martial arts skills. I have been using knives in my past life, but in this life, I still follow the path of using knives. Searching for countless martial arts skills is extremely difficult. It needs to be suitable not only for oneself, but also for the world and his current state. A high dot level martial arts skill that cannot be stimulated by true qi can actually harm the body. I'll choose you, Blood Rainbow Saber Technique. The essence of the Blood Rainbow Saber Technique lies in its rainbow like aura and unstoppable momentum. There are a total of seven moves, with one move in a row. The knife is deadly, and the fastest attack is the best defense. The blood rainbow knife technique is both offensive and defensive, and when used, it will kill people. Take out a long sword from the room, it's not very easy to use. Make do with it for now, and go to the family weapon workshop tomorrow to find a suitable weapon to use. Hold the knife. Take out the knife. Hold the knife. Take out the knife. Lu Wuxie kept repeating the same action tirelessly, and his sweat had already soaked through his clothes. Unconsciously, it was already sunset, and for most of the day, he had been continuously making and retracting positions. In front of him, place a wooden stake with a mark in the middle. At the beginning, the position of the knife drop is far from the target. As time goes by, with three consecutive cuts, one of them can hit the target, and the accuracy is constantly improving. To cultivate the Blood Rainbow Saber technique, the accuracy of the technique is extremely demanding, and one must die with one blow. There was a rumbling sound coming from his stomach, and he was already hungry. It was only then that he remembered that he had not eaten anything since noon. The intense hunger made him give up continuing his cultivation, tidy up briefly, leave the room, and walk towards the Su family canteen. Usually, Lu Wuxia doesn't like to have meals with his parents-in-law and is often criticized by them. It was the peak dining season, and thousands of people from the Su family gathered together, which was quite spectacular and divided into several levels. Deacon-level leader, sitting in a relatively quiet area. Sweeping the underground people, they were divided into the entrance, which was very noisy. The dining area of Lu Wuxia was close to the corner area, and a small private room was opened up separately for his use. His appearance, the originally noisy cafeteria, suddenly fell silent. Everyone lowered their heads to eat, and some even showed mocking looks. Ignoring the surrounding gazes, Jiao walked into the private room where the usual meals were arranged in advance. Today, not only was there no food on the table, but even the tables and chairs he usually eats were moved away. This useless person still has the face to come over for dinner. If it were for me, I would have already found a piece of tofu and killed it. The crowd heard whispers of discussion, not very loud, but it could reach Lu Wuxia's ears. Who moved my desk and chairs? Lu Wuxia's face was gloomy and his gaze swept around before finally falling on the face of the butler in the cafeteria. He was in charge of this area, and the tables and chairs were missing. He must have known. The canteen attendant is in his forties and has been in the Sioux family for over twenty years. Usually, people call him Iron Power, 
and his eyes show a hint of malice. He doesn't like this son dot in dot law very much, and due to his status, he has to step forward. Recently, the dining room tables and chairs are not enough, so I have to take them out and use them first. Tieli's rude answer caused a burst of laughter from all around. Not enough for use. A chill appeared at the corner of Lu Wuxia's mouth. The Su family's cafeteria was spacious enough, and there were many idle tables and chairs around that were not used by anyone. Only his belongings needed to be used, so he didn't take his son dot in dot law seriously. You're right, it's just not enough, Tieli sneered. Through memory, Lu Wuxia found many scenes of bullying him. One time when he came to dine, this iron force actually put the leftover food on the table, some of which had already emitted a sour smell. This kind of thing has happened more than once. There have been several protests, but they have beaten me all over. Tell me, who made you do this? A cold and murderous aura shot out from Lu Wuxia's eyes, causing Tai Li's body to stumble and be startled by Lu Wuxia's gaze. You useless person, eating is a waste of food. I just saw that you were unhappy and chopped up all your tables and chairs as firewood. What can you do for me? With a slap, Chao Lu Wuxia fanned over. In everyone's eyes, Lu Wuxia is only a waste of the day after tomorrow. Even the servants who sweep the floor can bully him. Usually, he always swallows his anger and tells his father dot in dot law to eat leftovers, which makes people look down on him. He can only silently bear it. Bang! Suddenly, without any warning, Lu Wuxia placed his foot on Iron's belly, which flew backwards. A mouthful of blood sprayed out of his mouth, smashing into the crowd and crushing a large number of tables and chairs. Waste, dare you hit me. Tai Li stood up without much harm, with a fierce light in his eyes. He picked up a chair casually and approached Lu Wuxia. The crowd automatically stepped aside, freeing up a large piece of open space, without daring to intervene. You're just a chef hired by the Su family, at least you don't understand the distinction between superiority and inferiority, it's just you. The body bullies the body and receives nourishment from quenching fluids, increasing the strength of the body several times. The realm has not yet been broken, and in just one or two days, one can break through the five levels of the day after tomorrow. Apart from his father dot in dot law, there are not many people in the entire Sioux family who deserve his respect. They have been beaten by these people many years ago, and today they will be recovered together. The iron strength is not low, with four levels of strength the day after tomorrow, possessing a body full of brute force. The chair in hand was thrown into the air towards Lu Wuxia. Seeking death. Stepping on seven stars, avoiding a blow, and then kicking hard, Iron Force's body became unstable and he fell into a dog-eating shit, lying on the threshold with blood all over his face. Lu Wuxia did not take down the assassin, so he punished him slightly. Everyone's face was filled with incredible colors. When did this useless person become so powerful that even his iron strength was defeated by him? Iron struggled to stand up, with a grim expression on his face. The sharpened kitchen knife was placed outside the door, and he casually drew one. Tieli, Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net, no. If someone comes forward to stop, it's okay to fight and cause trouble. If it really causes trouble, no one can escape the responsibility and will definitely be punished by the family owner. I'm fighting with you. Tieli had lost his sanity and wielded a kitchen knife to chop towards Lu Wuxia's face. The blade let out a whistling sound, and this knife was fired in anger. He was publicly beaten in the face by Lu Wuxia, with blood and energy rushing to his head, like a fierce beast. If you seek death, I will fulfill you. Lu Wuxia didn't want to kill him, but since he was determined to die, he had no choice but to fulfill him. Transformed into a lingering shadow, it appeared behind Tai Li, and a palm was imprinted on his back. With this palm, he was sure to die, containing the power of two wilderness. Stop it. At this moment, Su Yilin appeared and someone had already run to inform him. Fortunately, 
he arrived in time and prevented a farce. Chapter 8 Alchemy You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 9 Earth Collapse Tile Dog You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Sioux family has five weapon workshops, distributed throughout Kanglin City, producing a large number of weapons every day. Many things have happened in the past few days. The master craftsman of the Sioux family's weapons was poached by the Tian family. The inexperienced refining techniques of the newcomers have led to problems with the Sioux family's weapons. It will take a long time to cultivate them again. The weapons that were brought back from the main hall yesterday are all defective products. Hurry towards the nearest weapon workshop, and the journey will take about a stick of incense. My ears suddenly twitched, and a cold smile appeared at the corner of my mouth. There really is someone who is following me unconsciously. I want to see who has been following me. Avoid the main road, turn a street, and enter an uninhabited alley with tall courtyard walls on both sides. There is also a foul smell coming from deep inside, making it convenient for many passers-by to stay here. Stop and hear a whoosh sound behind him. Six figures surround the exit of the alley. Have you been hiding your head and tail from me for so long? Looking at the six people, they were covered in black clothes, with only one pair of eyes outside. They were holding bright weapons, and their eyes emitted a terrifying aura that filled the entire alley. A man was about to come in to urinate when he stumbled upon this scene and was so scared that he ran away without even lifting his pants. Waste, today is your deadline. If you don't kneel down obediently and beg for mercy. A low voice came from the man in the middle, approaching step by step, forming a small circle to prevent Lu Wuxia from escaping. The strength of the six people is not low, only one person is in the postnatal five-fold realm, while the other five people are all in the postnatal six-fold realm, Zhou Tong, I didn't kill you in Danbao Pavilion. I didn't expect you to give up. You're digging your own grave. Lu Wuxia's eyes suddenly froze on the face of a man on the right, causing him to take a step back in fear. How could his identity be revealed? You useless person slapped me in the face at Danbao Pavilion, causing me to lose my position at Danbao Pavilion. Today is your deadline. Zhou Tong took off his mask and looked grim. After leaving the Danbao Pavilion yesterday, he used all his savings and hired five assassins to guard outside the Sioux family gate, finally seizing the opportunity. Without the great support of Danbao Pavilion, Zhou Tong will find it difficult to move forward in the future. In recent years, he has been addicted to gambling habits and owes a lot of debt. As the leader of Danbao Pavilion, those creditors dare not do anything to him. Without the support of the Danbao Pavilion, it won't be long before those creditors come knocking on their doors. Everything he has will be completely lost, including his several concubines. You trash just want to kill me. A wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, even if he had half a step to kill him, it was impossible, let alone a small postnatal environment. Don't talk nonsense to him, kill him quickly. The five assassins did a lot of killing activities, didn't say any more nonsense, and the bad guys died with more words. They are very clear about this truth. The long sword slashed into the air, its aura reaching straight towards Lu Wuxia's face, causing the air to become extremely restless. Countless cyclones exploded in the air, and a simple combined attack formation corresponded to the five element directions. Zhou Tong didn't make a move and stepped aside, his eyes showing a hint of madness. A group of collapsed tile dogs. Lu Wuxia suddenly disappeared in place, using his seven star steps like a series of shadows, disappearing in place. The attacks of the five were all in vain. Who would have expected that Lu Wuxia would take such exquisite steps, like a ghostly figure, catching no trace, and suddenly appear outside the circle, his palm cutting fiercely like a knife. Click. The black-clothed man in front of him collapsed on his back and was cut off by Lu Wuxia's palm, clean and agile. With his right foot slightly, his body avoids the cutting edge, 
like a dragonfly skimming water. Each movement is natural and unpredictable, where his next move will appear. Just one face dot to dot face encounter resulted in the loss of one person, causing the remaining four assassins to suddenly change their faces and accelerate their attack power. Your swordsmanship is too weak. Let me show you what true swordsmanship is. Flipping in the air, the long sword on the ground fell into the palm of the hand, and the body was still in the air, drawing a beautiful arc. The merciless blade tore through the air. Shit. Without any warning, the sword energy splattered everywhere, and the four assassins rushing towards them had not yet reacted, but suddenly froze in place. What a fast knife. The mask on the head of the assassin's face slipped off, and his eyes were frightened. He had never seen such a terrifying person before. Drops of blood dripped down the necks of the four of them, still unable to die for a moment. Ignoring the four of them, they walked step by step towards Zhou Tong. Startled to a surge of soul, he stepped back step by step, and behind him was a high wall that had no way to retreat. You. Aren't you a waste? How could you be so powerful? Zhou Tong was panicked. There were rumors from the outside that Su's son in law was a useless cultivator. The knife just now shocked the world and made Lu Chong cry for ghosts and gods. He didn't even have a chance to react the day after tomorrow and was brutally killed. Do you want to know? Lu Wuxia suddenly leaned forward with a smiling expression, harmless to humans and animals. The two of them were almost face to face, and Zhou Tong nodded unconsciously, wanting to know how this useless person suddenly became so powerful. Why should I tell you? With a cold expression in his eyes, the long knife in his hand suddenly pierced Zhou Tong's lower abdomen, causing blood to spurt wildly. Zhou Tong has died, feeling very aggrieved. The harmless smile on his face just now made him feel like a spring breeze. When he thought he could survive, a long knife pierced his body. The tip of the knife pierced into the wall, and Zhou Tong's body did not fall for a long time. It was not until the next person came in to urinate and let out a sharp cry, which alarmed many passers-by and only then did they know that there were dead people in this area. Lu Wuxia never shows mercy towards those who want to kill him. The Su family's weapon workshop appeared in front of Lu Wuxia, with a sales area of over 1,000 square meters. Normally, at this time, the weapon workshop had a huge customer flow, but today it's a bit strange. The customers are sparse, and the entire sales hall appears cold and deserted. It should be due to the influence of defective products that the weapon status of the Sioux family has plummeted. The Sioux family made a living by selling weapons, and losing this industry had a great impact on the Sioux family. Stepping into the hall, many weapons were placed on both sides of the walls, including long knives and swords. Even some obscure weapons, such as judge pens, hidden darts, and pipes, could be refined by the Sioux family. Uncle, why did you come? There were not many guests, and several servants were lying on the table drowsy. Suddenly, a young man walked over and warmly greeted him, with no hint of disdain in his eyes. This actually made Lu Wuxia a bit uncomfortable. Usually, when Su's servants saw him, everyone looked at him like they saw garbage, with a look of disgust on their faces. I want to make a long sword, do you have a spare stove? Glancing at the long knife hanging on the wall, it was not his favorite style. He liked the fast knife, which should be thin and weight suitable for himself, and streamline was particularly important. There hasn't been much business in the past few days. The craftsmen have all rested and more than a dozen furnaces have been idle. If uncle wants any weapons, he can choose one here. The young man's name is Hu Shur, and he is an apprentice of an alchemist. His father works as a servant in the Su family and can be said to be loyal to them. Lu Wuxia also learned about his background through conversation. Shaking his head, the long knives on the wall were all very sharp, mostly thick and heavy, leaning towards the power type. However, there were two goose feather knives, which were too light in weight. Who sure, it's better to sleep honestly. Why are you talking so much to a useless person? 
The drowsy servants and the shopkeeper opened their sleepy eyes, and the shopkeeper who spoke was named Dong Changyang. He had been working in the Su family for over a decade and knew everything about Lu Wuxia as well as the palm of his hand. Pushi. Several young servants in green clothes beside them laughed together, their eyes full of mockery. Lu Wuxia's face remained expressionless, indifferent to the sarcasm and ridicule around him. Uncle, don't worry, they just have a bit of a mouth poison. Hu Xiu felt a bit embarrassed. Anyway, they treated the Su family's son dot in dot law like this with the Su family's salary, which was somewhat unreasonable. Hu Xiu's father and son first came to Kanglin City and were taken in by the Su family. They were only grateful to the Su family. Nodding, it seemed that Hu Xiu's senses were getting better and better, which could be a valuable material. Come with me inside. I want to forge a weapon myself. Can you help me with it? Lu Wuxia walked towards the refining room, and Hu Xiu had to follow behind. There were waves of mockery coming from behind. Lu Wuxia had come to the refining room before, but Su Yilin forced him in to learn the art of refining. Result I almost blew up the refining room, and since then, I have never set foot in the refining room again. Manager Dong, should we stop him? If there is any trouble, we will all be implicated. A few servants approached and whispered. Let him make a fuss, UU reading www.uukangshu.net won't be around for long. After Dong Changliang finished speaking, he continued to doze off. There was no business, and the Su family could hold on for at most a month. All the weapon workshops would go bankrupt. Uncle, what weapon do you want to craft? Let me do it. Ignite the stove, and what burns inside is not ordinary charcoal, but a black ore with a very high ignition point that can easily dissolve hard iron blocks. After Hu Shi lit the stove, he took the lead. Although he was still in the apprenticeship stage, he could forge ordinary weapons, but they were a bit rough. Hu Shi, do you want to become a master of weapon refining? Lu Wuxie picked out a few pieces of extremely good meteorite iron and placed them on the table, then suddenly asked Hu Xiu. Thanks for the rewards and precious monthly tickets of Vicky in Red, Fan Hua Ying, Caterpillar 797, Supervisor of the County of Gu City, Taoist Tian Go, Chen Ping Dao, Taoist Green Dragon, Your Sugar, Kiran Lucas, and XHCHL 0505. Today, at the sixth watch, I wish you all a happy New Year's Day. Chapter 10 Refinery You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Su family is in a state of turmoil. Without the refining workshop, their status will plummet and they will be relegated to a second-rate family, which will soon be annexed by the other three families. Su Yilin has shown him great kindness and is also the son-in-law of the Su family, let alone stand idly by. The ordinary way of cultivating alchemists is too slow, and by the time the Sioux family calms down, they have already been eliminated. Once market share is lost, it is difficult to regain it. Uncle, are you joking? I always dream of becoming a master of weapon training. Business is not good, and all the craftsmen, including apprentices, rest. Only who sure perseveres every day. With this kind of character alone, it is worth cultivating Lu Wuxia. Now there is an opportunity in front of you, and I can help you become a master of weapon refining. Lu Wuxia ultimately cannot stay in Kanglin City for a lifetime, and the Lingyun Immortal Realm is his goal. Uncle, don't tease me anymore. What do you want to refine? I'll help you. Hu Shi treated it as a joke. Last time Lu Wuxia came, he caused trouble and the refining workshop could not open for several days. How dare he let him refine weapons again? Lu Wuxia did not force him. In everyone's eyes, he has always been a waste. If it were someone else, they probably wouldn't believe him. Action is the best proof. Hu sure, palm fire. Suddenly, Lu Wuxia had an indescribable aura on his body, and his eyes became incredibly firm. He took out a meteorite and threw it into the fireplace. 
Husher dared not neglect, and his right hand twitched the bellows. The black ore inside the stove emitted a scorching flame, and the temperature was extremely high, so he had to take off his coat. To refine weapons, the first step is to dissolve the meteorite iron, pour it into a mold, and forge it. The refining process is divided into three stages, with the lowest grade being called 10 refining. It is aimed at some common tools, such as hoes, plows, and rakes, which are manufactured roughly. The second type is repeated refining, which is relatively difficult. The meaning of repeated refining is that the weapons trained are extremely sharp and have a much higher toughness than 10 refining. The requirements for meteorite iron are also extremely high. The most difficult thing is Qianlian. In the entire Kanglin city, no alchemist can achieve Qianlian technique. After multiple rounds of refining, the refined iron is formed, and it is very difficult to dissolve it. Even if the dissolution is successful, the hardness increases after pouring into the mold, and ordinary people cannot forge it to create the desired form. Most weapons on the market are still in the refining stage, which is a watershed. The Sioux family has a unique method of refining weapons, which can make them sharper by refining ordinary weapons. This is also the main reason why the Sioux family's weapons have been selling well. Even Lu Wuxie doesn't like ordinary refined weapons, so he needs to make the best long sword by doing it himself. It will take some time for the meteorite to dissolve. Lu Wuxie walked over to the mold, most of which were swords and not the shape he wanted. He needed to carve a new mold himself. Take out the tools, follow the pre-drawn pattern in your brain, and spend a burning incense stick to carve out a long knife mold. At this point, the meteorite in the furnace has almost melted, and the red molten iron splashes some iron juice, falling on the edge of the furnace. Many burns on Husher's arm are due to this iron juice. Uncle, there are too many meteorites, enough to make three long swords. I have long heard that Lu Wuxia is a notorious spendthrift. Today, upon seeing him, it was indeed so. The melting of so many meteorites made Husher feel heartbroken, and he was able to craft more than three weapons. You don't understand that. You need to record all the process of refining my weapon, which will be helpful for you in the future. Pour all the iron juice into the mold, put it in cold water, cool it quickly, and place it on the ox horn iron pier. Lu Wuxia bare his upper body and soaked it in quenching liquid. His physical strength is infinite. He holds a hundred pound hammer, while Hu Shi holds a ten pound small hammer. Da da da. One person at a time, constantly smashing on the unfinished cutting tools. After pounding a hundred times, put the cutting tool into the furnace, continue to calcine, knead, and pull it out to continue pounding. Over and over again, Hu Shi went from initial disbelief to shock and numbness, unable to describe his current mood. From whom did his uncle learn his weapon refining skills? Half an hour has passed an hour has passed Lu Wuxia is not fatigued. From a tool over one meter long, it has been compressed into about half a meter, and the precision has increased tenfold. Uncle, we can't continue to refine anymore. We have already exceeded 100 refinements. If we continue like this, the cutting tools will not be able to form and will definitely be scrapped. Husher sure felt sorry for those few high dot quality meteorite iron pieces. It was a pity to waste them. They had already exceeded 100 rounds of refining, so continuing to beat them was not very meaningful. Sue is a renowned alchemist who has been trying over the years to make new breakthroughs after surpassing a hundred trials, but all have failed. Don't worry, I have a plan in mind. Continuing to throw the semi-dot-finished cutting tools into the furnace, Hu sure had no choice but to stir the bellows. There was no open flame, but the black ore could make a hissing sound, and the tools turned red once again. Hu sure, eat this. The next step is the most important. After continuously practicing for an hour, Hu sure's physical exertion was extremely severe. Take out a heavenly spirit pill and let him swallow it. He cannot stop for the next moment. If there is a slight mistake, all the previous efforts will be in vain. What kind of pill is this? 
It has a strong aroma. Who sure couldn't afford such a high dot end pill, and a hint of surprise appeared on his face. He couldn't understand the uncle in front of him. Just eat it. Lu Wuxia also took out one and took it in one gulp. The consumed Chu Qi instantly recovered, with full strength and a faint trend of breaking through the acquired six levels. This is a good phenomenon. The true qi is constantly depleted, and after compression, its purity continues to improve. Lu Wuxia is unwilling to break through the realm and wants to exploit all the potential of this body. Taking a sip of the heavenly spirit pill, Hu Xiu's body felt as if bathed in soft sunlight, feeling comfortable all over. His body made a clicking sound, breaking through to the sixth level the day after tomorrow, which made him overjoyed. A small pill shortened his months of hard work. He has been stuck in the Wuzhong area the day after tomorrow for a long time and has never had a chance. It can be considered a natural outcome, without the heavenly spirit pill, he will break through in at most one or two days. Thank you very much, uncle. Hu Shi bent down to salute, almost kneeling down. The respect he had just shown him came from the heart, as it was between a master and a servant. Next, we need to forge a stick of incense continuously for a moment without stopping. I'm worried that your stamina won't keep up, and there's a greater chance of breaking through the six levels the day after tomorrow. Explain to Hu Shi that it is very difficult to craft a thousand refined weapons in the postnatal realm. Lu Wuxia plans to carve spiritual patterns and integrate the weapons with spirituality, which is the most crucial aspect. In the postnatal realm, ordinary weapons are mostly used, with a hundred rounds of refinement. When reaching the innate realm, the true qi skyrockets. Ordinary weapons cannot carry too much true qi, and spiritual weapons are needed to support it. No one in Kanglin City can refine spiritual weapons, only in the imperial capital city can there be weapon refiners who can do so. Each spiritual artifact is of great value, and the entire Kanglin city does not exceed five spiritual artifacts. The knife turned deep red, and Lu Wuxia quickly pulled it out. He held a carving knife in his hand and carved strange patterns on the blade, leaving Hu Shi dumbfounded. At this moment, Lu Wuxia seemed to be possessed by a god, with every move flowing like clouds and water, and every blade technique falling, leaving a vivid mark on the blade. The still unformed long sword emitted a faint spiritual energy. As an apprentice of an alchemist, of course, I know the importance of spirituality. Being able to refine weapons with spirituality is enough to sweep the entire Kanglin city. Hu Shi had an impulse to worship, his right hand trembled, and the hammer in his hand almost fell and hit his own foot. Start. The day after tomorrow has five levels, with limited true energy. Lu Wuxie can only carve ten spiritual patterns, which is already the limit. To reach the level of spiritual weapons, he needs to carve a hundred spiritual patterns. His realm is too low to sustain until the end, so he has to give up. Hu Shi smashed the hammer fiercely in his hand, with a strong anti-shock force that almost lifted the hammer away. With the addition of spiritual patterns, the semi-dot-finished blade seemed to be countless times harder. In Lu Wuxia's hand, a hundred-pound hammer struck fiercely, causing flames to splatter everywhere. Hu Shi quickly restrained his mind and didn't dare to think too much. He devoted himself wholeheartedly to refining the weapon. This is the best weapon he has ever crafted, and if successful, his weapon refining skills will be a qualitative leap, making it possible for him to become a master of weapon refining. Da 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 a series of dense sounds echoed in the refining room, and no one paid attention here. At a critical moment, Lu Wuxia's long sword arrived at the refining workshop with a group of uninvited guests. The group of people, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net, were in a fierce state. Call out your steward, your Su family actually sold us inferior weapons, causing our brothers to die in the mountains. Today, if your Su family doesn't give an explanation, we will smash the refining workshop. There are a total of ten people, each with a fierce and evil spirit. Each person's strength is not low, and they are all of the same color. 
The day after tomorrow, they are eight layers. They should be a certain mercenary group in Kanglin City. They wander around the edge of life and death all year round, entering the mountains to hunt monsters, obtaining inner alchemy to earn gold coins, and selling 30% of the weapons of the Sioux family to these mercenary groups. Their weapons are consumed greatly. I am the steward here. What can I do to help you? Dong Changliang stood up and quickly welcomed him, while the other servants stood up and opened their sleepy eyes. What are you? Let the Su family have the final say. He slapped Dong Changliang in the face without any courtesy, slamming him into the counter and spitting out a large mouthful of blood. Half of his face was swollen, and this group of people was too domineering. They would harm anyone if they came up. 